Today we're with uh, Mr. Kraft, who owns a house here in uh, the Barrington area of Illinois. And uh, we are going to evaluate a current water system that's currently in place uh, in order to replace it. But before we decide that we're going to replace the system with a brand new system, we want to evaluate the plumbing because the plumbing is a huge aspect of sizing and preparing for a new water piece of equipment. Hi Mr. Kraft, how are you? Just fine, thanks. <laughs> uh, so uh, our goal here today is to explain to the customer that uh, would be watching this video that this is a home that's been remodeled once or twice and uh, there it has its own private well. So we're going to take a look at how the water comes in from the outside through the concrete wall and into this home. And we want to take note of the fact that what's above Mr. Kraft is one inch plumbing that is uh, servicing the entire home. That one inch plumbing provides both the cold and the, is a cold water feed for the water heater and for the cold water side of the entire house. So our goal at uh, Angel Water is to size a piece of equipment uh, that we're going to replace that he's had here in the past. And a couple of his complaints in the past have been water pressure, water quality, uh, specifically white film, uh, and also orange coloring that's, uh, that's showing up in the toilets and on his laundry. Am I pretty much correct? Right, right. Great. So what we're going to do is first take a look at the plumbing. We can see what the plumbing is going to the home, but we're also going to now come over and take a look at what the plumbing looks like coming in through the wall of the, uh, of the uh, foundation of the house. So we have one inch plumbing coming through the foundation. What that does is that's the water, that's the raw water that's sitting under the earth's crust and a pump is under the earth pushing that water up through the earth, through his concrete wall, and through this junction that we see here. Uh, the water comes into this pressure tank, and this pressure tank is actually a, is a bladder tank, and half of this is air, and the bottom half is water. And so, a little bit of an uh, education, Mr. Kraft, so you can understand this, is that this pump that's in the ground is tied to this pressure gauge that's right there. And, <clears throat> in essence, the pump turns on when the water pressure drops to about 40 or 50 psi and that's when the it's reading the pressure within this bladder so as it gets lower the pressure the actual bladder has expanded now when it hits 40 or 50 psi that gauge tells the pump to turn on and as it turns on it fills the bottom of this tank with water and now it starts pushing up against that bladder creating a higher pressure that that gauge reads and once it reads 20 points higher than that it tells the pump in the earth to turn off so then as Mr. Kraft uses water in this house that bladder of air is pushing the water out of this tank and into his home to the faucet that he has running now we notice that there's one inch plumbing coming in from outside we remember that there's one inch plumbing for the whole house but we have for some reason because probably because the home was rather old at the time and it's been remodeled a couple times we have a one inch to three quarter inch adapter and now we're running three quarter inch plumbing so our goal at Angel Water is to educate Mr. Kraft as to this unique situation that this is three quarter inch and his whole house is in one inch so he has the option when he decides to choose a product with Angel Water that we will of course install a one inch water softener for him but our plumbers can also come in and replace this plumbing from this point all the way through and create a new T up here and then bring one inch plumbing through the water softener, a new water softener, and back to his whole house which is now, since it's been remodeled, has been plumbed in one inch. So our goal at Angel Water is to sit down with Mr. Kraft and ask him not only do, you want, do we want to sell you or talk to you about a water softener and the benefits that that's going to provide to your home, but more importantly this video vignette and this video is, is designed to how to properly size the plumbing that's associated with that equipment. And that's something we want all of our customers to understand that it's much more than just the equipment that you buy, but it's also the plumbing that actually has to go with this equipment. And uh, in, in Mr. Kraft's choice now, he has a choice to replace all this, including these old uh, gate valves. And this one doesn't even turn. So, when we do a piece of equipment, we want to make sure that we're giving him all the options to, to replace this equipment. So as a minimum, because they don't turn, 
we're going to want to cut all this out and install a new unit on uh, in a new unit for Mr. Kraft. The purpose of that is that we don't know if this old gate valve is leaking raw water and allowing raw water to pass by the new filtration equipment that we're going to install here. So our goal will be to cut minimum is to cut this out and cut all these valves out because they're old rusty and they're not working anyhow. And then we would install either a three quarter inch water softener if his budget uh, is very tight or if his, he has a little bit more room. We're going to correct the plumbing issue here all at the same time and do one inch plumbing through a new one inch water softener all the way back down to the main. Uh, that said, uh, Mr. Kraft will have the opportunity once we sit down with him to decide what is most important for him, his budget or sizing the water equipment along with the plumbing for the future of his house.